What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. It's time to move forward. I know this is going slowly, but I'm sorry. I wanna do this methodically and I wanna get it right. That's just kind of the way I am. So it's time to do a little bit more today on the solar shed. So we're gonna take the goodies that you see here that I've purchased and got ready for this, as well as the batteries that I bought last episode and the battery box that we built last time. And we're going to make this corner of the shed into kind of the solar area so to speak, and free up some room for storage and some other things that I need to do in here. But everything will be in this in this region of the, let's see if we can come up here a little bit. Everything will be installed in this area. So, and I'll be able to, at a glance, I'll be able to tell the voltage of the battery bank, how much power is coming in from the panels, all that good stuff. So Today we're going to take the first major step forward in that and get the battery bank wired up and a load center connected and everything safely fused and safely connected. So one of the things that I knew I needed to get was a way to put these batteries. So as you can see, let's zoom in a little bit here. They don't really have any handles on them or anything like that. They have these little, these uh, little hooks here, um, but I didn't know what those were for. I've been using some some things in the past, some little uh, hand tools to, to pick these up, but I looked up online and found that there is a purpose-built tool for that. So I went ahead and ordered this, which will allow me to drop these into the, the battery bank with tight quarters and do it safely and it's you know it's built for that so it can handle the weight and it's safe and all that stuff so and it also helped me to take these things into the backyard okay so the length of these wires that go through the conduit underground and into my house will determine the location of the load center which will have to be basically above that location right up in there so what i have is i have a a QO series by Schneider Electric, Square D brand. Um, this is rated for DC use. So basically I'm getting rid of the home line series that I had before, which is not rated for DC. It does work, but I wanted, I wanted the protection. I didn't want just the switching power. Um, anyway, so I've got this, it's a 100 amp, uh, six space, uh, potential for 12 circuits if you use the two throw breakers, but um, it is, this is just an indoor one because it, it's cheaper and this isn't going to see any kind of direct rain or anything like that. So this is kind of what they look like. And um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and get that mounted up here and we'll get these two main wires uh, lugged in there to the, uh, to the positive and negative side. All right, now that we've got that wrestle out of the way, we can go ahead and put the battery box down below to uh, minimize the length of uh, cable we need to go in. So basically the, the battery bank will feed this load center, which will you know, be fused and or, uh, we'll have breakers and, uh, and then we'll go um, through this panel on into the house. Okay, I think we'll end up putting the battery bank there um, just so I'll have a little bit more room over here for storage. Um, so we've got it situated so that the door can open up and uh, without touching anything over there. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, put the batteries in and we'll get started wiring the battery bank. Okay, so before we do any battery wiring, getting these all wired in series, we need to install the Hydrolink water supply system. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick first.
Okay, there it is. The water system is hooked up and we'll demonstrate how that's used another time because these are full of water and I don't want to upset that. But basically this, this little cap here will go into a hand pump which will come from a distilled water jug and it will evenly distribute water to all of the, the cells and all the batteries. Okay guys, well I really apologize. Uh, I meant to do all of this in one day with uh, one video, but it looks like it's not going to work. What I have here, I was going to reuse the, the cables that I had from the other system, but as you can see, they're far too long to go between the positive and, the positive and negative terminals of these golf cart batteries. Um, I do have some shorter ones that will probably work because they're flexible. I mean, this is, this is welding cable, so it is flexible. I could, you know, bend it in an S shape, but I don't have any more connectors. So I'm gonna have to order some connectors. I got plenty of cable, but I need more connectors. And anyway, so this is the completed um, hydrolink setup anyway. I did um, drill some holes for the positive and negative wires to come out of. And we've got plenty of, of cable for that laying around that, uh, that I need. It's really all only the connectors that I need. So I apologize. We're going to split this into another video. We'll work on ventilation next time. We'll finish wiring these up in series and connect it to the load center. And we'll have to do that in another short video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss the next video in this series. Hit subscribe now.